What's up? My name is Karina LeBlanc from the Canadian Olympic soccer team. I'm sitting here chilling at West Coast Mazda with the West Coast Auto Group Football Club. Uh, well, I started playing soccer a little older because I'd moved from the Caribbean, a small island called Dominica, not the Dominican Republic. So we moved here when I was eight years old. So I started playing soccer when I was around 11 or 12. And uh, I loved it because I grew up watching my father play. But uh, I was super competitive. I played up top as a striker and I would have the speed but not necessarily the skills. And I was a forward for a little while and then I hopped in goal because I was super competitive. and. I also hated when we'd lose games or we got scored on and love that. Um, well, I played soccer and basketball all throughout high school uh, along with other sports, but I got called into the full national team at a young age and I think that's when I started to see. I always wanted to be an Olympian. When I was four years old, I watched my first ever Olympic Games and I was glued to the television. I was like, my mom was like, get away from television, but I was like, this is it. And I knew I wanted to be a part of it. I didn't know in what sense, but I just knew that something that big where the whole world is watching and you know just playing sports that would be incredible so it was one of those moments and I remember seeing Donovan Bailey when he won that gold medal and the passion and the expression in his face it's like man I want to have that and uh, so it was just one of those things it started it was kind of in the head at one point and then it just continued on and so and you know just soccer I loved I loved watching it on TV Loved going to the games, loved playing it, and so it just kind of worked out that way. Uh, I think the thing about, you know, our road to London, it wasn't easy. You know, it was difficult. We, we were a team that came dead last at the World Cup, you know, less than a year before. And, and that, again, that was, you talk about goals. Our goal was to win a medal, and that was our goal. And the th I think the thing is, we, we weren't focused enough in the process and we won't focus on something that was bigger than what everybody else wanted. And that's what we had for the Olympics. Our goal was to inspire generation, see our flag rise, and in the process of that, bring home a medal. But that wasn't it. And in the World Cup, we came dead last. We knew that the Olympics, obviously, the whole world is watching, Canada is watching, and for our first game, there's a lot of press. And then we're like, okay, this is awesome. It's the opening game, and then the second game, there's still a lot of press. We're like, okay, so, and I think it was, um, Probably after the American game, we, put, we, we saw this video and it was a video of the reaction of Canadians to the loss and there was a message from the Prime Minister and we'd gotten a message from Celine Dion and it was just, Canada really was backing us and it was about overcoming that, that, that heartache and that defeat because you know that American game took just about everything out of all of us. But remembering, our goal was to change and inspire a generation and to leave a legacy. We didn't step into the Olympics to win a gold medal because everybody, that's their goal. Nobody goes into the Olympics and like, oh, I'm here, this is fun. You know, our goal was, was to do something bigger. And if a month before you'd said to us, hey guys, you know what, tomorrow you have an opportunity to win a bronze medal and bring it home to Canada, we'd have been like, let's go. And you know, people ask me now, like, how do you feel about the bronze medal? I couldn't be proud of the bronze medal because of the way Canada made us feel. Canada made us feel like we, we did something special. We, we, we set a legacy here for not only soccer, but women's sport and just for the country as a whole. And so it's, it's one of the proudest things I've ever done as a national team athlete in my 15 years. And it's just been incredible. You know, Vapor Ridge is home for me. It's where I will always call home. You know, I fill out hometown, you know, it says home, it's Maple Ridge. You know, because we travel so much, I don't get to spend that much time here. But whenever I'm here, it's just, it's so comfortable. I love to just go to the little spots that I went to growing up, hit the soccer field, my favorite field. I don't think you can dream this, you know, but I, the thing is I drive this car with so much pride because it's not just any dealership. It's a dealership where I started. It's a town where I started. It's the group that I started playing in. This is where things began for me. You know, I grew up here, played soccer here, the West Coast Auto Group, huge part of that. You know, I'm here and again, tying it back into, you know, it's, you feel so blessed when, you know, when all this comes on and, you know, there's emails and phone calls from people from all over the country. But I remember getting the call from West Coast Mons and, you know, this is where I'm from. And it was, it was an honor, it was so special because 
it was where I was from. It's people who knew who I was 12 years ago. It's people who knew what I was doing. It's coaches, it's the community, it's, it's me. And it, 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 it's, it, it gets to keep me humble, it gets to keep me real. It brings me back to, you know, the little girl who ran around and, you know, driving around with the parents, you know, playing at the field just across the street, you know. This is, this is where I am, this is where I'm from. Dream big, never let anyone tell you can't do anything and always have fun.